Hello everyone, my name is Don Ilag and I bring to you, do you know your Bible? Today, I happen to be at the center of Accra, in the art center, and I'm here to find out how the people here at the art center know about their Bible. I chanced on Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 37, and there's something there I want to share with you and also share with my brethren. So let's go right to Romans chapter 8, verses 35. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peri, or sword? 36. As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. That is in Romans chapter 8, verse 35, 37. I will be discussing with my sister and brothers here and then we will find out what really this quotation is telling us. So quickly, I would like to know your names and then we'll go straight into the scriptures. So my brother on the right, what is your name? My name is Richard Lawson. Richard Lawson. And you? German love. German love. Abigail Wusu. Abigail Wusu. These are the people who I have here right now, and we are going to go into the Bible to find out what the scripture is really saying. My brothers and sisters, what do you understand by what I just read from the Bible in Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 37? He says that, shall anything, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, or peri, or sword? What do you understand by this Bible verse? Anyone can speak. Okay. All right. What, what I understand by this scripture is, um, Paul was specific about the human needs. And the human needs are also um, being entangled with problems. So, you know, as a Christian, when you become a believer, you, you go through problems. And those problems, Paul was being specific about all those problems, that these problems cannot separate us from the love of Christ. We have to hold fast to the love of Christ. It doesn't matter what comes our way. That's a beautiful one. God bless you. I think when Jesus was here on earth, he called his apostle and told us that it's better for you that I go. That when I go, I will bring the Holy Spirit to guide you, to protect you, and to lead you. So anybody that accepts Jesus Christ automatically has the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Spirit is inspired in you, the Holy Spirit takes root in you, no tribulation, nothing can shake you. The respect, that is a beautiful one from Ibrahida. Um, I think uh, as a Christian, we have something that we don't, uh, we don't have to do and something that can separate us from the love of God. As a Christian, we don't have to, um, prosti prostitution is one of them and a lot of things, adultery. So I think as a Christian and as a believer, we have some certain things we don't have to do that can separate you from the love of God. These guys here have really inspired me and I know if you are watching, you are also inspired by their words. It is a beautiful one. They have really showed that they know something about the Bible. So, I will say a prayer with them and then we are not gone. We are still on your way. Alright, so let's pray. Father, we thank you for teaching us about your promises. For telling us that nothing can separate us from your love. We are so much grateful that you still loved us even when we were sinners and we pray that father you will continue to protect us shield us guide us that father we will not miss our steps with you that we will always be with you until when we meet again thank you jesus we give you glory in jesus mighty name amen amen Hello, sweetheart. What is your name? My name is uh, Kate Akafare. Kate Akafare. That is an an another name. Another mm. name. Right? Yeah. Good. Good. All right. Good. So, do you know your Bible? Yes, please. Are you sure? Ready for some questions? I'm ready to. Hello, my brother. How are you? Cool, man. Everything. I read. Nice one. Everything cool, man. My name Don Ayla. What are your name? My name Rashid, man. Nice one, Rashid. Me want, do you know your Bible? A bit, little. 
Okay, Rashid, not mostly, right? Respect, yep. respect, no problem. But me won't ask you some questions from the Bible. Me, me sure you gonna get them. Sure. What is your name? My name is Anabila. Nice one. Do you know your Bible, Anabila? Yes, yes. Respect. Okay, a bit. I have some Bible questions for you here. Are you ready to answer? I'm ready. Nice one. So right now I'm here with a sister who is a francophone. So her English is not too good, but we are still going to know something about the Bible. You can't run away from this one. <laughs> All right, so come on, Isabel. Je m'appelle Aisha. Okay, je m'appelle Don Ilag. Are you ready for the Bible? Yeah. Do you know your Bible? Small. All right. What was the last words of Jesus before he died on the cross? Yo, man. <laughs> Can't really remember, bro. Oh, no. That one there. Oh, I don't know. Next question. All right. The answer is, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. And that can be found in the whole of Luke chapter 23, verse 46. Luke 23, 46. Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. All right. Your second question. Who said... Am I my brother's keeper? No. Oh. I can't remember. They were twins. Was it Cain? Am I my brother's keeper? Jesus? Cain. Am I my brother's keeper? Cain. Oh, and that can be found in Genesis chapter 4, verse 9. The third question, who was the first man God created? Adam. 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 Adam and Eve. And that is Adam. And that can be found in Genesis chapter 1 verse 8. Now your fourth question. Name the city where Jesus was born. Bethlehem. I sure do. And it's Bethlehem. Bethlehem. <laughs> Jerusalem. Is it Jerusalem? Yes. Bethlehem. That is correct. And that can be found in Luke chapter 2, verse 4. Uh, your fifth question and the last one. I into the scripture. Who am I? It's Jesus. Oh. Are you sure Jesus turned into salt according to the scripture? No, I'm not sure. Oh my god. Hey, you are not sure. Okay, let me give you the answer. You want to, you want to try again? I turn into sword according to the scripture. Who am I? I can't remember. Human being. Oh no, that one. You don't have that. Je pas compris. That can be found in Genesis chapter 19, and that is the last one. Anyways, you've done very well. God bless you, sister. Thank you so much for being on my show. Right, but you tried, man. You did very well. God bless you. Rashid, God bless you, man. Respect. You know, it's, it's, it's all about the awareness, mm -hmm. you know. When there are certain things I didn't know, but yeah. through this, I've got to know. Yeah, like, be your brother's keeper. It was between... Uh, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel, nice and one. which has touched my heart today. So, mm. respect to your interview. Respect, man. respect. So, one thing he has taken from this one is being your brother's keeper, you know. So, man, me I'll tell you, wherever you are, do you know your Bible? I'm going to come to you. You may be next. So, study your Bible or read your Bible. I'll ask you questions. Definitely. Catch you guys later, man. God bless you, guy. Bless you too, Respect. Man. God bless you for that. And bless you too. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Nice work you have here, man. So, can you play some of the drum? Let me do some small dance before I leave. Yeah. So you welcome to the second segment of the show and this is what I call the battlefield. This is where two people come head on, answer some questions from the Bible. Let's find out who is going to be today's victor. Hello gentlemen, what is your name sir? 
My name is Richard Bruce. Richard Blues? Please, where do you fellowship? Which end do you attend? Lighthouse Shop. Lighthouse Shop. At where? Palladium Brand. Okay, what do you do, sir? I'm a teacher. Great, nice one. Sir, you're welcome to the show. Thank you. What is your name? Augusto Scott. I can hear you. Augusto Scott. Okay, and what do you do for a living? I'm an IT engineer. That is good. Where do you attend church? Uh, Presby, Presby Church. At where? At Teshi. At Teshi. All right. So, we have our brothers here. And let me ask you, are you ready for the show? Really? <laughs> do you know your Bible? Yes, I do. All right. All right. So, the person that answers correctly and first will win. And I have 10 questions for you today. Let's see who will be the victor for today. All right, guys. So, the first question goes, what tribe was Jesus Christ? Judah. All right. That is correct. So, our brother here has one correct. Now, the second question. Which disciple of Jesus doubted his resurrection? Thomas. Thomas. I'd rather guess the second one because he answers first. All right, the third question. At what age did Moses die? At what age did Moses die? At what age did Moses die? All right, let me give some possible answers. 80 years, 100, 120. 140. 120. 120 is correct. He's got the third answer. All right, now let's go to the fourth question. Which form of bed did the Holy Spirit take after John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ? No, no. <laughs> Our brother has gotten it right. He answered first. I told you, when you answer first and it's correct, I'll give it to you. So he got that one correct too. He has four. Now, all right, the fifth question. How many apostles did Jesus Christ call unto him? Twelve. Twelve. I said, he answered first and that is correct. Our brother got it correct. He said twelve. You said seventy-two. <laughs> Are you sure? The first initial. The first, no. Initially, was it not 75? No, 75. It was 75. 75, right? 75, right? Yeah, it was 75. Yes, 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 and then he saved it to 12. So our brother has that one correct. Okay. Yeah, I tell you. Cool down, cool down. Cool down, cool down. All right, good. So we'll go to our seat question. Now let's see what happens here. What does John 10 30 say? I and my father. <laughs> Our brother has that one. That is correct. I and my father are one. I think this is the simplest quote in the Bible, right? Everyone knows this one. All right, so let's go to the seventh question. Who calmed the sea at Galilee? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, the answer is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. According to the book of Genesis, which Egyptian official was Joseph's master? Let me take the question again. According to the book of Genesis, which Egyptian official? Potiphar. Are you sure? Yes, please. Potiphar. Are you very sure? Yes. Do you want to come again? I, I, I want to remain at where I am. You want to remain at where you are? <laughs> yes. And so the answer is? Potiphar. That is correct. <laughs> I was just feeling your legs. <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to know how sure how sure you really were. <laughs> You've done well. You've done well. And that is correct. That is correct. Alright. So the ninth question. According to the Bible, who got blinded by a bright light on his way to Damascus? That is correct. It's Apostle Paul. But uh, what was his name before Paul? Saul. That's correct. So it's Saul. Before he became yeah, Paul. Paul. Yes, he came. Yes, yeah, that is right. The answer is Saul. Yeah, the answer is Saul. Before he became Apostle Paul, he was Saul. That was where he had an encounter with Jesus Christ because he didn't believe in Jesus Christ. Good. All right. Now, my brother, you, you know the Bible, though? I'll have to leave you right now. Okay, so now, the tenth question, and that is the last one. This one, you have to get it for me. Cool down and get this one for me. All right. The first two apostles Jesus Christ called were? Hmm. 
the first two apostles, Jesus Christ, Paul and James. Eh? Peter first one. Peter first one. No. Who is second? The second one was there's no James. John. No. 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 Peter and James. Your last one. You have last attempt now. Peter and James. That's wrong. Your last one. Son of Zebedee. Wrong. Wrong. Now Dead. you have the, 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 the no wrong. You have the opportunity to get this one correct. In our your last attempt. He says the first one is Peter. No problem. Accepted. And that is correct. It's level with the second one. Ooh. I don't want to give possible answer because this one obviously you should know. Peter, no. Okay, so let me give you some possible answers. Uh, the possible answers will bring us close. Uh, no. <laughs> if I give it to you, get it right. I don't want to do that. <laughs> My brother, give it to me. Peter and someone, who is that? Uh, Eh? No. No. Mention some names. Why are you not mentioning the no, names? Uh, You've mentioned uh, John, uh, Peter, uh, the last one. All right, you're not getting it. This one, I am getting it correct. It's Andrew and Peter. <laughs> So that is the answer for the last question. But, my brothers, you've done very well. God bless you. I will urge you to keep studying your Bible. All right? Okay, good. On this show, anytime you participate, we have something for you. So on behalf of Dominion TV and our beautiful crew here, do you know your Bible? We present this gift to you for winning or becoming today's victor of the show. God bless you, my brother. Thank you very Thank you much. So much. God bless Do you have something to say to the people that are watching you? Well, I want to say that they should continue to watch Dominion TV mm. because it keeps you close to your Bible. Thank I you like the search. Thank you very much. I like that. What do you have to say to them? Keep on reading the Bible. Yes. Follow Dominion TV. Now your life will be changed. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you heard from my brothers. They are encouraging you at home to keep on reading your Bible and that keep watching Dominion TV because here we get only the best for you. This is a Christ-centered station and the programs that we come out with are only the best and it's going to change your life. This is Do You Know Your Bible. My name has always been Don Eilad. This is where I bring today's episode to a close. Keep watching and keep staying blessed. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Bible, you know your 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 Bible, Bible. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so.